We're back reading the Bible on this one again, y'all. Uh, the peanut, the creamy peanut uh, soup that I made, it's also in the Bible. I'm cooking a lot out of it because I found that I've had a lot of requests for certain types of recipes. So, out of the Bible today, I'm going to share with y'all the most elegant, easy, stupid easy, uh, creamy, easy shrimp bisque. Uh, like I said, it's 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 an elegant uh, bisque. And bisque, uh, when you associate things with the word bisque, you're usually talking about some kind of shellfish, uh, like lobster, crab. Uh, it's usually lends itself to a seafood. So, like I said, this is just so easy and uh, it will serve up beautifully for you. Now, I'm gonna start by chopping uh, a half a pound of shrimp. So, I'm gonna give these kind of a, just a rough chop. because I've got my little handy dandy whisker over here that I'm gonna use. Uh, to break them down even a little bit more. All right, now I'm gonna uh, put in one can of cream of celery soup. And this is gonna help act as a thickening agent and also a lot of flavor. I told you this is just stupid easy. All right. Let me get my whisk back. Here we go. Because I'm gonna whisk in half and half uh, and milk. So right now I'm just gonna add the milk and I'm gonna hit this with my little emulsifier. You know what? I think the grandchildren would love doing this. <laughs> okay. Don't fall. Don't fall. All right. Let's see. I'm going to need um, two cups of half and half. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just some of that, not all of it. And then I'm gonna throw in my shrimp. Now, if you want your bisque totally, totally uh, creamy, then you can put this in a food processor and that will make it really, really creamy. Okay, so half a pound of shrimp. Oops. <laughs> I might should have got a deeper bowl, lady. this into the pot. See how easy? <laughs> this will be ready in 
like five minutes. All right, so I'm now I'm gonna add the rest of my half and half. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of tomato paste. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of paprika. Cause you know how bisque and stews, they have that little, little hint of something red in them. I don't wanna get covered in this. lost my aprons. Uh, I was going to hang them one day and I couldn't find a hook to hang them on. So now I don't know where they are. And have you seen them? No, I'm not sure. I know there's one, okay, one hanging in there. Okay, look at our shrimp. It's caught up in there and I'm going to get every bit of that out. Mm -mm. Now this recipe just called for a half a pound, but you could certainly add more to it. All right, so we're just gonna cut on our eye and heat that up. Heat and eat. The longest part is just uh, pulsifying the, the shrimp and the creams. All right, so that's it just that easy now I've got some sherry here for those that like sherry and I'm not gonna add those to our bisque uh, because not everybody cares for sherry so I'm gonna you. put this huh I eat you the example I, being you oh <laughs> I eat you yeah I eat is a is a short thing for example I did not know that. Hmm. I learn something new every I'm day. Is that right, Eddie? I eat. Yeah. I eat. And it's not for your information. It's for... Mm -mm. An example. An example. I eat you, me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care for it. So... <laughs> that was the moral of the whole... I eat. Story. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know that. Look, see how that's a pretty kind of pinkish color now, y'all. So that's it. That is it. So I'm just gonna wait for it to get hot and um, I'm gonna have me a bowl in my Grandma Paul's uh, bowls that she used for rubber band. I just had the peanut soup in it. And, you know, some things just taste so good in certain things. I don't know if I've ever shown y'all my plates that came from River Bend because grandmother served for lunch a lot, lot of men that worked at Georgia Power across the street from River Bend. Plus, we had the tourists because uh, when River Bend was at its height, that was the only way to get to Florida. If you went to Florida, you had to go down US 19. So grandma served a quite quite a few people. And uh, when I eat out of our plates that we ate out of, that she served her food in at the restaurant or her bowls, it just makes the food taste so much better. Like she had a hand in this. <laughs> so it won't take that but a second to get hot. While our bisque is heating up, I'm gonna uh, chop up us a little parsley because that's what we're going to um, garnish our bisque with. And a little of the sherry for those that want it. And this is all that you're gonna need. That and a spoon. flat leaf parsley. How about y'all? I don't know if there's a big difference in the curly and the flat leaf, but I don't know. I just kind of like the flat leaf. 
I love it. I, I never think to use it, but I, lo I love the scent of it. Uh huh. I mean, this the you wouldn't believe the aroma that's coming up to me, Eddie. It's it's just fabulous. All right, I'm getting my bowl ready. <laughs> getting my boom ready. This is. This is good. <laughs> it's good. I just need a spoon. You know, if you don't live uh, on the coast, you can still get some good shrimp that are maybe fresh frozen because the way they are freezing everything these days, it's just like, really tastes, tastes terribly much like it's fresh because they flash freeze everything now. You know, it doesn't sit and take forever to, uh, so if you wanted a little bit of sherry at this time, <laughs> I forgot to salt and pepper it, okay? so good. <laughs> it's delicious, but I'm going to salt and pepper it just a little bit. It doesn't need much. Not at all. That gets it. Mm. Put a little bit there. And a little bit there. Michael went to work at 2.30 this morning, y'all. And I was up and awake and talking to him. And uh, he didn't tell me what time he would be back home. Mm. I swear this tastes like crab. It really does. It tastes like a crab bisque. So delicious. But so anyway, he just got home. And Michael adores soups any kind of soup. I mean, he's not real, real picky. And you wouldn't think that about a man. You'd think he'd want something hearty like meat and potatoes, but he loves soup. So he's going to be in hog heaven when he wakes up and finds peanut soup, uh, shrimp bisque. Is that the only two soups I'm making today? Yes, ma'am. He's going to be happy as a clam. Happy as a shrimp. I'm gonna put just a little bit, see I'm a sport. Come on now. That's it. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> it's not bad, but I still like it without it. Mm -mm. You get you some pretty bowls and some ritzy folks <laughs> and serve this as first course and they're gonna think you're a genius. <laughs> Loving best dishes, y'all. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.